Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to play MIDI chords with your guitar in Reaper. Now in previous videos, I showed you how to convert a guitar to MIDI notes in Reaper. But let's review. We'll start off making a new track. Let's name it MIDI Guitar. We'll set our input to where our guitar is plugged into on our audio interface. Turn on input monitoring and put it into record. And we should hear our guitar. And we do. So now we'll go to the track effects right here. And let's add a plugin using the Reaper plugins called Rhea Tune, which is typically used to tune vocals, but it could also be used to send MIDI notes from a guitar to MIDI instruments. So if I play an A, it shows up as an A, or a D, so it sees the pitch that we play. But now we can go down here to this checkbox and choose Send MIDI Events when the pitch changes. So this is going to send MIDI when we play different notes. Now to turn off the sound of the guitar, let's add another plugin, like an EQ, right over here. Now let's go to the pins for this plugin and turn off the left and right sides. So if I play the guitar now, we don't hear it, but it's still going to send MIDI. So now we could add a MIDI instrument right after it. Let's go to our instruments, and any instrument we choose is going to work. But let's choose Serum. Let's grab a preset, like this bass one, and let's hear it. But the one limitation of this method is we can only play one note at a time. If we want to view it, let's float this plugin and view it here so we can see our notes. If we play a chord, it doesn't show up. So we can only play single notes with this method. But we could use a plugin to simulate creating chords. So let's go back to the plugins and search under MIDI for a plugin called MIDI Chord in Key. And let's put this before the instrument, but after the EQ and the reattune. And what this plugin is going to do is going to allow us to play chords just by hitting one note. So in the key of C, it's going to add notes, two steps and four steps, the upper third and the upper fifth. Let's choose a preset that's going to work with chords. Let's go to our pads and choose this one right here. And with this plugin turned off, it's going to sound like this. where we hear one note at a time. But if we turn it on, we'll hear a chord. And we'll also see the chords being triggered right down here. And it's going to play in the key of C, because it's chosen right here. But we could change it to any key we want, like D, We could also change the interval. Let's put it back to C. And instead of going up the third and fifth, we could change this to any step we want. Like with this one, it's going to play seventh chords. 
We'll switch it to five to play this. We could put it back to the default to play major or minor chords. In any key we choose. And if you want to play in a minor key, just bring it down those steps. So for A minor, just leave it in C. And this is going to work with any instrument we choose. Let's try a different pad, like this gated one right here. We could even use it for playing piano. Let's choose a different sound. I'll choose a piano right down here, which looks like this and sounds like this. Let's say we wanted to record this. We want to record it as MIDI. We put these plugins on the input effects instead of the track effects. So let's open them back up over here. And let's move these three plugins to the input effects so we can record them on the way in. And it'll record MIDI and the MIDI chords in the process. So we'll hold down Alt on the PC or Option on the Mac and drag it over to the input effects. And now there, over here, and we'll just keep the instrument on the track effects. On the input effects, we have our tuning, the EQ, which just turns off my guitar, the audio, and my MIDI chord in key, which is going to create our chords. But in order to record it as MIDI, we'll go up here and right click and switch it to record output, record output MIDI. So let's put down those chords and we'll see our MIDI chords show up here. But to make the performance a bit tighter, let's right click over here, choose track recording settings, and turn on input quantize. Let's switch it to quarter notes, and now it'll quantize on the way in while playing chords as well. That looks pretty good, but I had a glitch right over here. Let's double click it and delete that piece. Let's hear it back. Sounds pretty good. Now let's put down another part. Let's duplicate this track. Just right click and duplicate. Let's take this track out of record and delete this part. Let's change the sound on this one. Let's go back to the Serum plugin right here and choose that preset we had before on the pads, gated pad, which sounds like this. Let's put down that part, also putting down chords at the same time, which we can see. Right here. And just like that, 
we recorded two parts, playing one note at a time, but getting chords. So that's pretty much it. That's playing MIDI chords with your guitar in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Oh!